Hey grade tens, how are you guys doing? We miss you over here. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about your course selection for grade 11 because it's actually that time right now. Can you believe it? I can't meet with you one-on-one -on -one like I promised, but we're gonna do it a different way. I want you to go to the handbook online and have a look at all of the choices and stuff and we're gonna make our selections using Maplewood online this year, okay? So the first thing you have to do is choose eight courses, no spares. You're gonna choose English, social, at least one science, at least one math, and your religion course, okay? So that brings you to five. And for the other three, you can choose more sciences, more electives, whatever you like, but you must have a full schedule, okay? Again, go back to the handbook and review this stuff um, so you can get all the information that you need. I'm going to look at your current report card and kind of track that until June so I can cross-reference that with your marks and check one last time if you're eligible for the courses that you're choosing, okay? Um, if I need to discuss one of the courses with you guys, I'll reach out and let you know by email, okay? So can you check your email every now and then? Coming up next is a video on how to do this, okay? Bye guys. When choosing an English for grade 11, you have the choice between 20-1 and 20-2. If you are currently in English 10-1, you will choose English 20-1 if you have passed the course. If you have not passed English 10-1, you will be placed in English 20-2. It should be noted that it is recommended for English 20-1 to have at least a 65% in English 10-1 in order for you to be successful. If you are under 65% in English 10-1, you may also consider choosing English 20-2 for grade 11. For students who are currently enrolled in English 10-2, if you achieve at least a 50%, you will be placed in English 20-2. Social studies works much of the same. If you are currently in social studies 10-1, you are permitted to take social studies 20-1, assuming that you have at least a 50%. But remember, it is recommended in order for you to be successful to have at least a 65% to move on to the next dash one level. This means that if you are currently in social studies 10-1 and you have less than a 65%, you may consider enrolling in social studies 20-2 in order for you to be more successful. If a student is in Social Studies 10-2 and you pass the course, you will be placed in Social Studies 20-2. When choosing a math course for grade 11, you have three options, Math 20-1, Math 20-2, and Math 20-3. For students who are currently in Math 10-C, it is recommended that you have at least a 65% in order to enroll in Math 20-1. If you have between 50 and 65%, it is recommended that you enroll in Math 20-2. And if you are currently under 50% in Math 10-C, it is recommended that you select Math 20-3. If you are currently in Math 10-3 and you are passing, you will be placed in Math 20-3. And finally, the biggest change for grade 11 is science. All grade 11s must choose at least one science. However, you may take more if your schedule permits. For grade 11, you can choose between biology 20, chemistry 20, physics 20, and general science 20. Coming out of science 10, it is recommended that you have at least a 65% in order to choose bio 20, chem 20, or physics 20. However, you are permitted to take these courses if you have between 50 and 65. If you have less than 65% in science 10, it can be assumed that you will likely be most successful in science 20, and that might be a nice option to choose. If you are currently in Science 14 and you pass the course, you will be placed in Science 24. Now continue watching this video for instructions on how to actually log into your Maplewood account and begin selecting your choices for your grade 11 courses. This is what it looks like when you log into your student portal. If you are unable to log into your student portal, please refer back to the registration website with the email address you must contact in order to get access to your student portal. When looking at your student portal once you're logged in, you first need to choose on timetables. 
and you're going to see choices. That's where we're going to do our work to select our courses. So first you will choose choices. You'll see now that you've not entered any choices yet, so you're going to click the Edit button. Which will cause another screen to open. We recommend that you begin this process by choosing your core classes first. So you'll click the little drop down for English. You're going into grade 11, and here are your choices. So if you would like to take English 20-2 next year, you click English 20-2, and then course information will pop up here. If you scroll to the bottom of the course information, you will see a button that allows you to click Add. That is finished now. So you're going to close English, and now you're going to go over to your math. Again, you're going into grade 11, and maybe you're going to decide to take math 20-3. So you choose math 20-3, you scroll down, you click add, and the list will continue to populate underneath student choices. Close those up. Next stop, we'll go to Social Studies, grade 11 again, and maybe I'm going to take Social Studies 20-2. Scroll down, click Add. And our final core class will be science. So you click the science drop down, you go grade 11, and these are all your choices. You can take bio 20, chem 20, physics 20, science 20, or science 24. For this example, I'm going to choose science 24. Now, if you're a student who wants to take bio, chem, physics, you want to take all three, you want to take all two, you just want to take one of them, it doesn't matter. You just return to this box a number of times, click it, and scroll down to click add. So I'll go Science 24, scroll down, and I will add that course. So those are your four core classes now selected. We also know that you must take Religion. So then you're going to go to your religion drop down, you're going to choose grade 11, and you're going to see a number of choices. Now most of you are going to pick the first one. Religion 25, scroll down, click add. Now if you are in band, choir, or French immersion, listen carefully. If you are a student who is taking band during the day, that means you're concert band student, you need to choose religion 25B. If you are a student who is taking, who has selected, wants to take choir during the school day, you would pick C. Now for those students who are only in after school jazz band and who are only choosing after school choir, you do not pick the band or the choir religion. You can pick the regular one. But if you are taking band during the school day or choir during the school day, you must pick either of these religions. And then as well, if you are a French immersion student, you must select Religion 25F because we do deliver that course in French. So now we're going to add this Religion 25 because this particular student that we are using today is not in band, choir, or French immersion. So that is the five minimum requirements for grade 11, but you do have to take eight courses. So for this particular student that we're using as an example, we do need to choose three more courses because grade 11s are not permitted to have spares. 
So that means we're going to fill the rest of this timetable with elective courses or phys ed. So you'll notice that we do have phys ed here. Um, sorry, phys ed here, you'll notice that we've got grade 10. And that's because phys ed is required in grade 10. It is no longer required in grade 11. You do not have to take phys ed. However, you can if you want to, which is why you're going to find it under the electives. Now, for most of you, you will not use year three electives because you are only going into grade 11. So here is some advice for how to make this as easy as possible. If you would like to continue with an elective, you're going to go to year two because you've just completed year one. For example, if you took sport performance in grade 10 and you enjoyed that elective and you want to take it again in year 11, that means you're in year two. So you're going to scroll down to year two, you're going to find sport performance, and then you're going to add that to your timetable. Now let's say that you want to try an elective for the first time, one that you've not taken before. That means you're going to be in year one. So you open the year one folder and you scroll down and you find the elective that you would like to take, you choose it, and you add it. As well, you'll notice that in year two, this is where you will find Phys Ed 20. So if you do want to continue with Phys Ed in grade 11, you will find that under the year two electives. Once you have finished your choices and everything is listed over here and you've got eight courses selected, all you need to do is click close. And then momentarily, we should see the list of courses that you have now selected here in this overall summary list. And then Mrs. JK will go in, check the courses you've chosen, cross-reference with your current grades, and make sure that everything is good to go in terms of um, your opportunity to be successful in grade 11. Now, what do you need to do next? It is now time to review the course handbook for the 2020-2021 school year, which is also linked on the registration website. And this is where you can read more about all of the core classes, but also about all the electives that we offer at Holy Trinity so that you can make the best choice that you can. Once you've checked out the handbook, you can click the link to bring you to the student portal, log in, and follow the steps we've outlined in this video this morning so that you can get your courses chosen.